In this lecture, we are going to learn about the comparison operators in JavaScript. So, in any programming language, there are situations where we need to compare values of two variables. Mostly, the comparison is done to make some decision in the program. So, in JavaScript, we have these many comparison operators. We have greater than, we have less than, we have greater than equal to, less than equal to, not equal to, and then we also have this triple equal to and not triple equal to. So, we will learn about the difference between double equal to and triple equal to, and we will also learn about the difference between not equal to and not equal to equal to. But this greater than operator, less than operator, greater than equal to and less than equal to, you already know from your math classes, from your school days. So basically, the greater than operator, it will return true if the left hand side operand is greater than the right hand side operand. In this example, let's say we are comparing x and y. So when we use this greater than operator on x and y, x is 3, y is 2. So 3 is obviously greater than 2. In this case, this greater than operator will return true. Again, we also have this less than operator. So when we use this less than operator on x and y, x is 3, y is 2. So 3 less than 2. Obviously, 3 is not less than 2. It is greater than 2. In this case, this less than operator will return false. So every comparison operator, it is going to return a Boolean value. We have already learned that all the operators in JavaScript returns a value. And any comparison operator will always return a Boolean value. Either it will return true or false. Then we have greater than equal to. So 3 greater than equal to 2. In this example, 3 is greater than 2, but it is not equal to 2. So since 3 is greater than 2, this greater than equal to is going to return true. Then we have 3 less than equal to y. So 3 is not less than 3, but 3 is equal to 3. So in this case also, it is going to return true. So this greater than less than, greater than equal to and less than equal to, these are very simple operators, simple comparison operators, which is going to return a Boolean value. Let's understand them with some practical examples. So here, let me go ahead and let me create a variable A. Let's say A is 20 and let's also create a variable B and let's say it is 30. Now, let's write console.log statement and there, let's say A greater than B. Now, A is 20 and B is 30. So, 20 is not greater than 30. In this case, this greater than operator will return false because here A is not greater than B. So if I save the changes, you will see that false has been logged here. But if I check A less than B, for that we can use this less than operator. So A is 20, B is 30. Now 20 is less than 30. So in this case, this less than operator, it will return true. If I save the changes, you can see it has returned true here. Again, let me copy this. Let me paste it here. And now we are going to check greater than or equal to. So A greater than or equal to B. A is 20, B is 30. So A is neither greater than nor it is equal to B. So in this case, again, it will return false. But if I make A as 40, so in this case, A is greater than B. So since A is greater than B, this expression will return true. This greater than or equal to will return true. If I save the changes, you see it has returned true. And if I make A as 30, in that case also, A is not greater than B, but it is equal to B. So in this case also, it will return true, as you can see. Then we have less than or equal to. So let me copy this one. Let's paste it here. And A less than or equal to B. In this case, both A is 30 and B is 30. So A is not less than B, but it is equal to B. So in this case, less than or equal to will return true. If I save the changes, you see it has returned true. But if I make A as 20, then again, A is not equal to B, but it is less than B. Right, A is 20, B is 30. So A is less than B. So in this case also, this less than or equal to will return true. But if I make A as 40, in this case, A is neither less than B, nor it is equal to B. So in this case, it will return false, as you can see.
so this is how this greater than less than greater than equal to and less than equal to operator works and it is very simple to understand you already know this from your math classes in your school days and as i mentioned the comparison operators will always return a boolean value it will either return true or false now you can also assign the result of a comparison operator to a variable for example let's create a variable x and to that let's say 20 or maybe a greater than equal to b so here a is 40 b is 30 so 40 is obviously greater than b greater than 30 so this expression will return true and that will be assigned to this variable x let me comment these console.log statements here and let's go ahead and let's write another console.log statement where we are going to log the value of x so x is going to store a boolean value because a comparison operator always returns a boolean value so the result of this comparison will be a boolean value that will be assigned to this variable x so if i save the changes it should log a boolean value in this case it is logging true because a which is 40 is greater than b which is 30 so the result of this expression will be true and true will be assigned to this variable x all right now remember that when you are trying to compare values of two different types for example if you try to compare a string with a number in that case comparison operator will always convert the non-numeric value to a number type so when we use comparison operators on a non-numeric value first it will convert that non-numeric value to a number type and then it will do the comparison let's understand this with an example let me comment these two lines okay and let's first write this console.log statement and let's say we want to compare two string values let's say 2 greater than 0 1 so this 2 is a string value and this 0 1 is also a string value so when we are using this comparison operator on two string values first it will convert those string values to number type so this 2 it will be type coerced to numeric value 2 and this 0 1 it will be type coerced to numeric value 1 and then the comparison will happen so here 2 is greater than 1 the result will be true if i save the changes you will see true logged here okay now let me again copy this console.log statement and here let's say 100 less than numeric value 50 so here we are trying to compare a string value with a number value again this comparison operator it will convert the non-numeric value to a number type in this case this string 100 it will be converted to number 100 before comparison and then the comparison will happen so 100 less than 50 this expression it is going to return false so if you save the changes you will see false is locked here now what about boolean values so again let's say i want to compare true which is a boolean value with 5 so this comparison operator it will also convert this boolean value first to a numeric value and we have learned in our previous lectures that the boolean value true gets converted to numeric value 1 and the boolean value false gets converted to numeric value 0 so true is converted to 1 false is converted to 0 so here true will be converted to 1 then we are checking 1 greater than 5 again 1 is not greater than 5 so the result will be false here if we save the changes you can see false is locked so when we use comparison operator on a non-numeric value before comparison first it will convert the non-numeric value to number type and then it will do the comparison so we have seen greater than less than greater than equal to and less than equal to operator now we also have equality operators and in javascript we have two types of equality we have equality check for that we use equal to equal to and we have strict equality check for that we use triple equal to in the same way this not equal to it will do the not equality check but this not equal to equal to it will do the strict not equality check now what do we mean by that remember that this equal to equal to or 
not equal to it will only compare the values it will not compare the data type but this triple equal to or not equal to equal to it will also compare the value as well as the data type let's understand this with an example so again let me comment these lines and again i am going to write console.log statement and there let's say 20 equal to 20 in this case this value 20 it is equal to this value 20 so it will return true as you can see and if i say 20 not equal to 10 so this value 20 it is not equal to 10 so in this case also we will see true now when we use double equal to or not equal to it is only going to compare the values for example if i make this 20 as a string value what this equal to equal to and not equal to operator will do is it will again convert the non numeric values to number type so this 20 it will be converted to number type and then the comparison will happen so when this 20 will be converted to number type this number 20 will be equal to that number 20 so it will return true as you can see and let's say this 10 also i convert it to string type so here also this not equal to operator it will not check the data type of that value it will simply convert that non-numeric value to a number type and then it will do this not equality check so in this case again this 10 will be converted to number type and then the comparison will happen if i save the changes it is still returning true because this value 10 will be converted to number type and 20 is not equal to that number 10 so it is returning true so this is equality check but if i use 3 equal to here in that case it will check if this number 20 is equal to this string 20 so here the data type will also get checked this triple equal to it will not convert this string value to a number type no first it will check if the two operands have the same data type if they do not have the same data type this triple equal to will immediately return false it will not even check for the value only if the data type matches then only this triple equal to will compare the value so in this example since the data type does not match it will immediately return false as you can see but let's say if the data type matches then it will check the values so now this is also a number type and this value is also a number type so the data type matches now this triple equal to operator will also compare the values so this value 20 it is equal to this value 20 so in this case it will return true but let's say if this second operand is 30 in that case the data type is same but the values are different so in this case this triple equal to operator will return false and same is true for not equal to equal to here also first the data type will be compared and if the data type matches then only the value will be compared so for example here 20 not equal to equal to 10 here first this not equal to equal to operator will check if the data type matches or not now this is a number type and this is a string type so number type is not equal to string type it will immediately return true it will not even check the value but if i say 20 not equal to 10 so both are number types both have the same data type so this not equal to equal to operator will check if the data types are same so this is number type this is number type now it will check for the values so the value is 20 and here in the right hand side the value is 10 so 20 not equal to 10 now this not equal to equal to operator will return true because 20 is not equal to 10 so if i say empty string equal to false what do you think will be the result here well this empty string it will be converted to a number type so for the empty string it will be converted to zero and this boolean value false it will also get converted to zero because here we are using double equal to operator so it first converts the non numeric value to number type and then it does the comparison so this empty string it will also get converted to zero and this false it will also get converted to zero so if i save the changes you will see the result is true 
because both of these non numeric values will be converted to number value 0 but if i use triple equal to here then it will immediately return false because here the data type is string and here the data type is boolean so since the data types are different this strict equality check will immediately return false if i save the changes you can see it has immediately returned false so this is the difference between strict equality and non-strict equality check now let's talk about using comparison operator on two string values so again let's write console.log statement first and let's say you want to compare this string a with z now what do you think will be the result here well when we try to compare string values the comparison operator does the comparison using lexicographical order in javascript that means the comparison of string is done character by character and for the comparison of string value the s key value of the character is used for example here the s key value of a is 65 then the s key value of z is 90 so when we are using this comparison operator on these two string values its s key value will be compared the s key value for a is 65 and the s key value for z is 90 so 65 is less than 90 in this case this expression will return true if i save the changes you will see that true is returned now let's write another console.log statement and here let's say lowercase a is less than uppercase a so the s key value of lowercase a is 97 and the s key value for uppercase a is 65 so 97 less than 65 this expression will return false because 97 is not less than 65 if i save the changes you see it has returned false so for the comparison of string values its s key value is used now here we have single characters so that's why comparison is simple but what about we want to compare two words for example if i say i want to compare grass with green now here the comparison will be done in lexographical order the comparison will be done character by character so first this first character will be compared with the first character of second operand both of them will have the same ascii value so it will move to the next character this lowercase r will be compared with the lowercase r of second word again both of them will have the same ascii value so we will move to the next character then we have this lowercase a and lowercase e at the third place now these two characters are different so now the ascii value of lowercase a will be compared with the ascii value of lowercase e and the s key value for lowercase a as we learned it is 97 greater than the s key value of lowercase e the s key value for lowercase e is 101 so 97 greater than 101 this is going to return false if i save the changes you see the result is false let's take another example so here let's say we want to compare two with two so now the s key value of this first character will be checked with the s key value of the first character of second operand both are same so it will move to the next character then it will check the second character from the first operand with the second character of the second operand again both are same so it will move to the next character and now it will check the third character so o with the third character of second operand but here we don't have the third character so in this case since in the second operand we don't have a third character here the length of the word will be checked because the first two characters are already same but the first operand has three characters and the second operand has only two characters so in this case it should return true because in this case the length of the words will be checked if i save the changes you see it has returned true okay if i change it to tool so in this case the second operand has more characters than the first operand so in this case it should return false as you can see all right so this is how the 
string values are compared using the comparison operators. Now, what about comparing null value with undefined? So, keep in mind that when null and undefined are compared using strict equality operator, they are not equal because their data types are different. So, if I say console.log null equal to equal to equal to undefined. So, here I am doing strict equality check. Now, since the data type of null is null and the data type of undefined is undefined, they have two different data types. So, the strict equality will immediately return false. If I save the changes, it will immediately return false because the data type of these two values are not same. Let me comment these codes here. Okay, so in this case, it will always return false. However, when we compare null with undefined using not strict equality operator they are always equal to each other but not to any other value so for example instead of using strict equality if i use double equal to here in this case you will see that it has returned true but when we use any other operator any arithmetic operator or any other comparison operator so for example let me copy this line and if I use greater than equal to here, so we have learned that the comparison operator first converts the non-numeric value to number type, right? Here what will happen is this comparison operator will convert this undefined to NAN. Null will be converted to 0 and undefined will be converted to NAN. So in this case, you will see that it returns false. So, null is not greater than or equal to undefined. Here, null will be converted to 0, greater than or equal to, undefined will be converted to NAN. So, that's why this result is returning false. And this is true for any other comparison or math operator. If you use less than or equal to also, you will get the same result. Okay. So, only when you use equal to equal to operator, null is always equal to undefined. But for other cases, so, for example, for maths and other comparison operators, null and undefined are first converted to number 0 and NAN and then the comparison will happen. Now, let's see one more thing. So, here let's say console.log null equal to equal to 0. Okay, and let's also write one more console.log statement null greater than equal to 0. So, from our previous learning, we might expect that both of these two expressions will return true because we have learned that this comparison operator, it will first convert this null value to 0 and then the comparison will happen. In the same way, this greater than or equal to, it will also convert this null value to 0 and then the comparison will happen. So, in both the cases, it should return true. Right. Now, if I save the changes, you will see that in the first case, it is returning false. And in the second case, it is returning true. Now, why is that? The reason is that equality check and comparisons work differently. Comparison converts null to number, treating it as zero. That's why null greater than equal to zero is true. Because this greater than equal to zero, this greater than equal to operator, it will convert this null to zero. And then the comparison will happen. So, zero greater than equal to zero, it is going to return true. And that's what you will also see logged in the console. Okay. On the other hand, the equality check for undefined and null is defined in such a way that without any conversion, they are equal to each other and they don't equal to any other value. So, null, it will only be equal to undefined. It will not be equal to any other value. Same is true for undefined undefined will be only equal to null it will not be equal to any other value this is by default in javascript so the value undefined when it will be compared with any other value it will return false this is because the undefined gets converted to nan and nan is a special numeric value which returns false for all comparisons but when it will be compared with null it will always be equal to null so, null and undefined, they are equal to each other, but they are not equal to any other value.
I hope these points are clear. So this is all about comparison operators in JavaScript. We have learned a lot in this lecture about comparison operator and how they work with different data types. And from this lecture, you can create many interview questions, which you might be asked in a JavaScript interview. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.